Hello there and welcome to Lewis 6 Further Maths uh, Revision Sheet 5 for the January Mock Exams. Here we have a series question. We need to prove that summation of these types of terms here uh, will summate to make this formula here from 2 up to n. And that's a bit funny that we start at 2 because we do usually start down at 1. Let's have a look at what would have happened if we were to start down at 1 and look at the first term. So the first term would have been 1 minus 1 times 1 times 1 plus 1. So this is effectively going to equal 0 times 1 times 2, which is just 0. So the reason they're starting at 2 in this expression here is because you would start uh, with a 0 plus um, in this summation here. So it doesn't really matter if I were to write r equals 1 at the bottom of these formulas or r equals 2 at the bottom of these formulas because in both cases they're going to give me the same value because the first term is just going to be a 0. Okay, so what I'll do then is start at 1 and sum up to n instead then. And the next thing I'll do is I'll split up these brackets and expand them. So I believe after this I get r cubed minus r. And then I'm going to split up the summations into two different parts. The summation of the r cubed numbers and the summation of the r numbers. And here's where I now bring in my formulas that will help me get towards this stage here. So for r cubed it's going to be n squared over 4 n plus 1 squared and then we need to take away n over 2 n plus 1. Okay. And the next thing we need to do is collect all our terms together and give it one algebraic expression. So um, we're going to need to factorize this. Now the first step that I go through before I factorize is I create equal denominators so that it's much easier to factorize out that divisor. So in this case here, I can factorize out a quarter, an n, and an n plus 1, as these terms are in common with both of the left and right hand terms. And inside the brackets, for the first term, we've already got n squared, we've already pulled out an n, so we've still got 1n left, and similarly for n plus 1. And then we need to take away 2 on the right hand term. So let's expand what we have inside that square bracket now, and we're going to get n squared plus n minus 2. And hopefully this will factorize to what we have up here. We've already got this n over 4. We've already got this n plus 1. Does it factorize to n plus 2 n minus 1? I think it does. So a quarter n plus 1, n minus 1, n plus 2. So we've just checked our answer there, making sure that that factorizes. OK, so we've shown this part A question, and we now need to go ahead and summate these values here. Now let's think about it in terms of what we have in our series. We must be able to link A and B together. This value here, the R minus 1 is effectively 13. The R value here, that's 14. So the R plus 1 value must equal 15. So in our summation here, we need to start down at 14 uh, for the value of the first value of R. And for the last term, it must be this middle one again that will be the r value. So we're going to sum eight up to 45 of r minus 1, r, r plus 1. Now, what we've got here is a summation from 14 up to 45. Now, the only way we can use our formula here is if our formula starts down at 2 and goes up to n. So what we're going to have to do is summate all of these terms up to 45, starting down at 1 or 2, it doesn't really matter because the first term is 0 anyway. <clears throat> and what we're going to have to do next is subtract all of the terms. Well, if I want to keep all of my terms from 14 up to 45, then I'll have to take away the terms that go up to 13 um, because then that will leave me with just the summation of the r values from 14 to 45 of r minus 1, r, r plus 1. So what I'll do then is substitute 45 into this formula here and take away 13 
substitute it into this formula here. So my answer is going to be 45 over 4 n minus 1. So 45 minus 1, 45 plus 1, and 45 plus 2. <coughs> and we need to take away uh, 13 over 4, 13 minus 1, 13 plus 1, and 13 plus 2. <coughs> so, therefore, what we're going to get is, tap this into your calculator, and if I'm right in my calculations, we get 1,062,000 and that's the final answer. Now you can always check this on your calculator. Remember you have a series button. Uh, if you press shift and then the X button slightly below the on button, then you substitute in your 14 and your 45 in your series. And you can't use R. There's no button for R on your calculator. You just have to use the X button that you've already pressed for the series button without pressing shift this time. So enter those in and you'll get this expression here and we get the right answer of 1,062,000. Okay, so that's eight marks for that question.